This is a session for media practitioners who will be drilled on how to fact check information so as to avoid being misled. The United States Consulate is facilitating the engagement alongside the West Africa Broadcast and Media Academy and the Enugu Literary Society owing to the impact wrong information could have on the average consumer. Uh, fake news or misinformation um, can really undermine good governance. It could undermine free markets. Indeed, it can undermine independent media, human rights, and democracy. It affects all of those pillars of really our most cherished pillars of independence and, and freedom. It really erodes at, at the structure of this. And this is why it's so insidious and so corrosive and so acidic. Um, is because of what it can do to undermine trust. With the advent of social media, the rate at which fake news spreads has remained a matter of concern to any society. A reason it has become imperative for media practitioners to be equipped with the right tools to counter misinformation. It is spiraling out of control. And the, the most shocking part is when it is pioneered or driven by media practitioners who should know better. So we're training media practitioners, giving them the tools to fact check. There's this widespread thing about like, subscribe, and share. So is your, you're free to like and subscribe, maybe, but by, by the time you get to the share part, we need to make you aware of the ramified consequences of sharing. A lot of people believe the photos and videos that they receive. They may not believe text, but they, may, they believe photos. They think photos are real, and, they, and their photos tell the truth. And when it is videos, the belief quotient is even higher. There are simple tools, extractors, reverse imaging, and all that that can help them be able to quickly, in under one minute or two or five minutes, be able to validate any social media information they get. The objective of the program has been clearly spelt out. The role of the media as gatekeepers to fact and accurate reportage will no doubt be enhanced, leaving the information space safer with less fake stories. Chris Elams, Channels Television News.